So I studied engineering through the Australian Defence Force Academy, completing a four-year degree there. Airfield engineers can really get involved in almost any um, any project that's out here on, on a defence base. While I've been posted to ESAIL, I've helped out with the National Airfield Projects, which is a huge, I guess, rejuvenation of the airfield. All the runways, taxiways and aprons were resurfaced, new line marking and new airfield ground lighting as well. I'm Ryan and I'm an airfield engineer. So the aircraft are flying, I guess, a variety of missions throughout the course of up bushfire. The airfield was very, very crowded and got really complex towards the end with a lot of aircraft coming in. We had rotary wings, so Chinooks, Blackhawks, MRHs and Seahawks here. We had the Spartans and the C-130s here and one or two C-17s that came through, plus international counterparts. So we had a, a Japanese C-130 here as well as Singaporean Chinooks. So it became very interesting in terms of the traffic mix that we, we don't normally get to utilise and play with here in ESL. So during the peak of Operation Bushfire Assist, the Spartans were evacuating around 400 people per day and it was just su such an unreal sight, something I really wasn't expecting to see. One of my goals in my career is to look at humanitarian and disaster relief and having that experience on the first posting seeing people's lives actually getting changed by something that you're able to help with is a great feeling. So Air Force is 100 years young this year. Being such a young service in a growing country, I think we have a great opportunity moving forward to really shape it how we see it should be.